In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Divine Commission. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Matthew 28, verses 18 and 19. To Christ, and to Christ alone, is given the right of authority over all things. Those who put their trust in Him, and will hold fast the profession of their faith, firm unto the end, will be protected. As Christ's disciples, as laborers together with Him, there must be united action among all the laborers. Some are converted to the truth in one way, others are best reached by a different method. So the laborers will act, some in one line, others in another, but all may blend unitedly. To every man is given his work. Those who criticize their fellow workers open a door through which the enemy will enter. What can be more sad than to see brother working against brother, expressing suspicion and doubts of the other's sincerity? There is room enough for all to use their God-given talents. All are laboring for the one object of inspiring belief in the words of inspiration. Then let everyone so order his speech and work that he may be in harmony with those who are laboring to the same end as he himself. Let those who are entrusted with the work of teaching the word of God be sure that they are under the control of him who has declared, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. His commission to his disciples includes the words, teaching them, all nations, to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. No man is authorized to set up his own mind as the standard to which he may compel others to conform. The glorious gospel, God's message of redeeming love, must be brought to the people, and that love is to be revealed in the hearts of the laborers. The theme of saving grace is an antidote for a harsh spirit. The love of Christ in the heart will be expressed in earnest work for the salvation of sinners. Let the gospel be presented as the word of God for life and salvation. The gospel will be commended by the revelation of a spirit that works by love. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace.